Hey, what is up, friends and folks? My name is Sam Page. I'm an artist and creative, and I am learning to be okay. So, of course, being okay means a lot of things, but in this series, what it means is I'm going to go through the art practices, the practices that I've learned over the years, and see which ones are me and aren't me, almost, who I am and who I'm not. And this one is about quilting. Uh, I have been quilting for a really long time. I've been quilting for at least 12 years. And it's something that's really important to me because this is a practice that helped me connect with someone in my family that most times felt really unconnectable. Um, and it also is a very big part of who I think I'm becoming, if that makes any sense. Um, so here is quilting and connection. My grandmother was difficult. <laughs> She was like a door with no key. I spent the majority of my life not really knowing much about her, even though I spent that same life living with or at least very close to her. I can honestly say that we had nothing in common besides our less than cheerful disposition and our non-commitment to any one art form. My grandmother tried everything from jewelry making, to drawing, to crochet and beadwork. I washed her pack away the projects after a few weeks, neatly in a closet. Unfinished bracelets and little paintings of flowers and fog. All these little things, unfinished and gone, were a monument to the things that I wished that I knew about her. But quilting, quilting was different. She just did it. I learned to quilt about 12 years ago, um, probably since well, I started learning about 11, um, but I really didn't get into it until I was about 15. Um, I would watch every few weeks. My grandmother would do the same thing. She would take out the sewing machine. She would look at it really long. And then she proceed to take the whole damn thing apart every single like three weeks after watching this ritual a few times I gauged that she was taking it apart but she would put it back incorrectly and you know she gets frustrated and I would watch her do this a couple times and after a while I got to the point where I could do it I could put it together correctly so I kind of gauged between smoke breaks one day and I did it Put it back together and you know it was interesting because that moment connected us in a way that i felt like we had never really connected um so it became kind of a thing you know it became my job so you know after i put it together after we clean all the parts and i put it together she just teach me little things you know she teach me about uh you know little stitches she taught me how to piece a quote together um, how to create certain patterns with fabric that I didn't think were possible. You know, it's interesting to watch someone sew a circle on a machine that goes straight. Like, what is that, right? <laughs> um, you know, we did this for as long as I could remember until, there, until she died. My grandmother died at 56. She died just before Thanksgiving, just before we knew what to do, just before the bus came. And it was hard because I never understood that I didn't understand her. She had had a lot of problems. She had had um, a problem with drugs, problem with alcohol, and... I can remember times just remembering, oh, I wish she'd go away because, you know, it caused my mom like so much heartache knowing that this was something that was happening, um, that she couldn't save her mom in a way. And I wish now, I really wish now that I had tried 
to understand her more. I didn't understand my grandmother. I don't think she really understood me. But we bonded over this really small thing of sewing extra pieces of fabric together to make someone warm. And that warmth is what I remember the most. I don't know who I am, who I'm becoming. That's a really Michelle Obama way to say that, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know who I'm becoming. But I think that I can honestly say that the relationship between me and my grandmother, um, between my grandmother and my mother, the way I saw them interact, and then between me and my mother, are shaping me in a way that is so intricate. It's like a quilt. And I think this is something that we all can maybe think of. I make quilts for warmth, but I also make quilts because the connecting of those pieces are like those connectors between me and people I never thought I could connect with. I look at my grandmother today, I look at who she was today, and a part of me says, oh, I still don't know much about her. But another part of me says, I know everything. I know everything about her. I know who she was. Because I... And learning who I am through her. So this video is for my grandmother. For a woman who found a way to communicate. Who found a way to connect. Who did her absolute best to understand and who shaped me in a way that she'll never understand that she'll never that she will never get to see